Already in the production configuration, the Lamborghini Huracan is a street legal projectile. But this fighting bull plays in a completely different league. The tuning company OCT has implanted a compressor in it, which catapults it to new heights. Two point seven seconds to one hundred. Eight point one to two hundred. Top speed, three hundred thirty-six. This super sports vehicle intoxicates the senses. Walter Dominic from Overschneider Chip Tuning, or RCT for short, explains what is going on with the Super Lambo. So the greatest challenge with the car is that we thought about how we could achieve better performance. Our decision then fell in the direction of the compressor, and that's just not a part you can order anywhere. We cooperated with the engineering office and made drawings, and from the experience we've had in recent years with other compressor modifications, of course, a lot of know-how was already there. Then we specifically developed a compressor from the ground up for the vehicle. Then, of course, a lot of things were added. What you also learned from temperatures, bring the air in, air out, to precisely use the power that the compressor also generates. Finally then, a power output of 807 horsepower with 810 newton meters of torque, and that is something that also pushes beyond 250 kilometers per hour. At the 2016 Tuna Grand Prix, Johannes Stuck drove this 807 brake horsepower monster to its limits. For the basis, Swiss Tuna's OCT used a 5.2-liter V10 naturally aspirated engine with 610 horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque. In addition to the supercharger kit, there's also a flow-optimized 20 kilo lighter titanium exhaust system from the Akrapovich Thunder Gods. The 21-inch wheels from Vossen also ensures for an even sportier look. The Lamborghini typical fighter jet type cockpit remains completely intact. Performance figures read like a poem, but this dream car has a premium price. In addition to the base price of just over 200,000 euros, a further 90,000 euros are due for the enormous increase in performance and all the extras. The high-tech Huracan is already pure in the series version. Lamborghini relies on a complete LED lighting concept. Two juxtaposed daytime running lights ensure that it stares in an extremely aggressive way. Behind this hide the high and low beams. Thus, in spite of a high degree of stiffness, the weight remains as low as possible, with chassis and body made of aluminum and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. To ensure the suitability for daily use, the front can lift up at the press of a button by 45 millimeters. 
The all-wheel drive is electronically controlled and has variable power distribution. And thus, if necessary, up to 50% of the power can be transmitted to the front axle, but also up to 100% can also be transmitted to the rear axle, and this ensures perfect traction, but also for extremely sporty driving. Even the basic version, the Huracan, is a precision weapon for the road. What it delivers after the OCT tuning measures take the human body to the limit. The 1.6 ton super athlete bites into the asphalt and catapults its mass forward as if it didn't exist. Behind the driver, the turbocharged 10 cylinder screams as if it were about its own survival. Even from a distance, it makes it clear that a horsepower giant is approaching. A soundscape like this is usually only found on the racetrack. The mere sight of it is formidable. Amazingly, the 800 horsepower Taurus is very drivable. Clearly, this power is simply lost. In the practical road test, however, it is much better to drive than initially expected. This clearly demonstrates how good the basis version of the Lamborghini Huracan actually is. A violent 810 newton meters of torque pressed the driver into the seat at 5,300 RPM, and one begins to doubt one's own mind. The crazy way it pushes forward, power cap? Not here. Even at 250 kilometers an hour, the Lambo still pushes forward and laughs at air resistance. Its top speed of 336 is solely restricted by the transmission. Theoretically, it could do even more. The compressor kit was developed in collaboration with an American company specifically for this ingenious V10 and is a world's first. Approximately 50,000 euros a due. But not only Lamborghini drivers can benefit. The owner of an Audi R8 V10 Plus has the opportunity to have the OCT compressor implanted because both vehicles draw their power from the same unit. The Huracan OCT is a brilliant vehicle for those who love speed. And even with 807 horsepower, the power limits are not exhausted. Yes, basically there is more. Also from the engine there is certainly more in it. We wanted to keep it for everyday use, that it could be driven on the road, and that all these tags and everything we do are within the law and therefore can also be entered into the vehicle documents.
Yes, even if it doesn't sound like it, this sound is perfectly legal. With the Lamborghini Huracan supercharged, Oberscheider chip tuning impressively demonstrated its know-how with supercharger modifications and explores new limits with the 807 horsepower and 810 newton meters torque limits set by the factory. OCT has transformed a fascinating supercar into a real monster. Whoever hears this sound should best run for cover.